What's up guys, today we're having a look at MotionVFX's brand new plugin, it's called MFlare 2. This plugin allows you to create trackable light leak and anamorphic flare lens leak effects within basically any footage possible. So here we are within Final Cut Pro. In the beginning of my timeline, you can see all the effects that I've used on the clips. And here we have the clips without the effects. So I have it separated by this little border right here, just so I can show you the before and after really clearly. Here, the first clip, I have a Hercules 6x6. This is a company I work with all the time. This is one of their really cool ballistic armor vehicles. I applied the anamorphic lens flare right here to the top of this light bar. So this is with the effect applied, and right here is the clip without the effect applied. And to apply this effect, it's really simple. All you have to do is drag and drop it to the clip, and we can just position the effect anywhere we want within the frame. And then once positioned, you want to track this clip. That way the flare will match the camera movements and the subject that's moving within your frame. So that's really cool. It makes it look much more authentic and real. So once we've positioned that light leak or lens flare over the subject, we can go ahead and go to tracker and we're gonna hit track. So it's gonna give you a preview of what it's tracking. And then let's hit playback. And it's really as simple as that. It's perfectly tracking the clip. All right, so now that our clip has been tracked and everything is looking great, we can actually apply our own custom uh, adjustments to this effect. And you can even change the presets. So if you go with an M flare too, you can see how many presets there are right here. Instead of deleting the effect and then reapplying a new preset, we just go to the presets button and we can easily just change that light leak or lens flare really, really easily. For example, I can choose cold winter, hit okay, and boom, there it is. It applied that lens flare directly to this clip. So it's really that easy. We can go back to presets and we can adjust the presets as well. So we can go to this little adjustment button right here we can actually reposition and adjust each individual element of that light leak or lens flare. And you can see that you can adjust the brightness, the scale, the size in each axis, such as the Y and X axis. And you can even change the texture, which is really unique. I haven't seen that before when we're talking about light leaks and uh, lens flares, like the texture, the actual texture and the size of the actual flare in each element of this effect is actually very unique. I haven't seen that before in any plugin that I've used. So you can see how many elements are actually involved. And on top of that, you can add more elements to that light leak and you can save this as a brand new preset. So you can really customize this to any way you want. Cool, so that's been applied and here's the final effect with your custom light leak or anamorphic lens flare, however you wanna call it or use it. Now let's get into something a little bit more challenging. For example, this clip right here, it's a simple drone clip flying over the ocean. Now how would I actually create an accurate lens flare or light leak here? I can't really track the sky because it's just one solid color of blue. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually just apply any light leak or lens flare that we want to this clip. And I'm gonna track something else within the frame that's constantly moving with the rest of the frame. So for example, I'm just gonna find a little building right here or a piece of the mountain, uh, something that really stands out and has high contrast because that's how the tracker works. It searches for those darker and lighter pixels and that's how it's able to track very accurately. So once I find something that's contrasty and something that's able to be separated clearly from the background, the computer's gonna have a really easy time tracking this. So I'm gonna just select something here, go to tracker, then I'm gonna hit track. Boom, it's gonna give you a preview. Now depending on how complicated and how many objects there are in the frame, it may take a little bit longer. I also do wanna say that this is the M1 version of M Flare 2, so it's compatible with all of the newer MacBook Pros. 
And that's how you're gonna get the best performance because it's gonna be using all of Apple's silicone perfectly. And let's have a look at how it tracked. Boom, it tracked beautifully. Look at that. So now you'll notice that the flare is coming from within the center of the frame, which really doesn't make sense. Now, instead of actually moving the flare like this, which also moves the tracker, you actually want to undo that and go to the system parameters or the effect parameters right here, and you can change the points. So for example, we can change the axis of the light. We're gonna move it over to the left, and then I'm gonna move it up higher right here to simulate sun. And as I scrub through the footage, you can actually see the tracker moving away, giving us a much more real effect of that sun because the drone is moving forward and it's cutting out that corner of the frame. So the tracker is working really well in our favor here, creating that much more realistic effect. Now, if you look right here, you can change any color in this palette to really make it how you want it. You can see how everything just begins to change. And I love the fact that this illuminates the whole entire frame, makes it look so much prettier. And by the way, this right here, this shot, one of my favorite shots, you can see the effect, that anamorphic light leak or that anamorphic lens flare coming in from that light bar at the top. It just looks so good. And this shot as well, that subtle little flare just goes a long way. I mean, look at the before and after here. It just looks so much better. And it gives us that nice glow in the center of the frame. So that's basically the overview of Motion VFX's M Flare 2. I highly recommend this plugin pack. Check out the link down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I'll see you in another video. Peace.